India, the world's ninth largest economy, a nation on the fast track to economic growth, a nation with a rich history and vibrant culture, but yet a nation that continues to battle formidable challenges. Pollution, poverty, growing population, lack of sanitary facilities and inaccessibility to hygiene standards. With water supply and sanitation in India continuing to be enormously inadequate, wastewater management has become the single most important focal point that needs immediate redressal. It has been reported that only 27% of the wastewater ensuing from sewerage is being treated in India. The rest is just being released into the environment, resulting in contamination of rivers and other sources of drinking water. Contamination by solid waste is the main cause for the spread of waterborne diseases like cholera, typhoid, paratyphoid, dysentery, and diarrhea. More than 80% of domestic water consumed makes into wastewater and is being disposed of. Water conservation and recycling become as important as solid waste removal from the environment. The government of India has been searching for solutions for effective wastewater treatment. DRDO labs painstaking research efforts in this field have borne fruit with the development of the biodigester. Biodigester made of FRP or mild steel is equipped with an inlet pipe for human waste. The inoculum of anaerobic bacteria helps convert the solid waste into biogas that is let off into the atmosphere and liquid effluent which can be drained off onto any surface and used for irrigation. This eco-friendly technology has several advantages over aerobic treatments such as no requirement of external energy, needs low nutrient, can withstand high loading rate with very low sludge generation. A large number of biodigesters have been installed at high altitude locations of army units. This technology has excellent potential for application by common people since it employs the methanogens which can work in wider temperature range. They also tolerate toilet cleaning agents. It is very low cost technology and the requirement is of very little space. Septic tank is the most acceptable technology for wastewater management where sewage systems are not available. Size of a septic tank for a small family varies from 4 to 10 cubic meters. And large volume tanks are preferred to obviate frequent cleaning of the tank. This amounts to higher initial cost and space requirements besides the foul smell of the effluent. Pea trap is provided in the toilet to prevent foul smell of the septic tank in the toilet seat. To overcome the problems of conventional septic tank, DRL Tespo has developed Biotank. The Biotank has several advantages over the conventional septic tank system. The size of the Biotank is approximately one third of conventional septic tank and hence material cost and space requirement for building the tank is lower. There is no need to evacuate the tank which is required for conventional septic tank at frequent intervals. This tank requires no maintenance and very little quantity of H2S is produced as compared to septic tank. P-trap can also be avoided thus reducing the amount of water usually used in the conventional system. an advanced eco-friendly to digest the human night soil and producing gases along with water. The water may secondarily be treated through another natural system that is called reed bed. The biotank resembles a trench dug in the ground to about 1 to 2 meters depth and connected to sewage through an inlet pipe. A trench of size 1 cubic meter is sufficient to handle waste matter generated by 4 to 10 people. The inner walls of the biotank are of cement or brick. 
with a thickness of about 9 to 10 inches. Another wall of about 5 inches thickness is present in the center of the bio tank. An inlet pipe for the waste is present that connects the toilet to the tank. Its other end is 20 centimeters above the base of the tank. The outlet pipe for carrying the effluent is placed on the other side. Above the center wall rests several aluminium and metal rods running parallel and suspended from these rods are the PVC immobilization matrices that act as bacterial reservoirs and trapping the bacteria after the first seed inoculum is introduced. The first seed inoculum of anaerobic bacteria is now introduced into the tank. These matrices act as the bacterial attachment sites within the tank and ensure the bacterial population in the bio tank is always maintained at the optimum level despite changes in pH and excessive flushing. Routine and popular toilet cleaning agents can also be employed without affecting the bacterial population. Sewage enters the bio tank through the inlet pipe. It then passes over the consortium of anaerobic bacteria that break it down into gas and effluent. The treated effluent comes out through the outlet pipe and can be used as such for gardening purposes or can be treated further by passing it over the reed bed system. The reed bed system can be optionally added on top of the bio tank for the secondary treatment of the water coming out of the bio tank. The reed bed system comprises of bed of sand and pebbles along with natural wetland plants like reed plants that can grow in wet areas and can withstand water logging. The reed bed can ameliorate the wastewater that comes out of the digester tank by totally reducing smell, suspended particulates and pathogenic microorganisms. Reed bed may be of horizontal or vertical type according to the need of the site. The effluent is very safe to discharge into the environment and may be used for irrigation purposes. A pump may be used for further utilization of the water that is coming out of the reed bed system. A solar panel may be used to power this pump, thus making it eco-friendly. Biotank gum reed bed system is also used to treat the wastewater of kitchen and bathroom, which enters the biotank just near the outlet pipe, and the treated water along with sewage effluent then passes on to the reed bed system. Biotank can be of different sizes, either for single house or multi-storied complexes. The technology works at a wide range of temperature. If a large number of toilets are connected, sufficient biogas can be generated, which can be used as alternative energy source. Its wide applicability, ease of construction, simplicity of design, zero maintenance and excellent eco-friendly effluent quality makes Biotank an attractive alternative. Yes. Biodigesters have an edge over other methods because of the following properties. It is very effective and eco-friendly. Causes no groundwater pollution. No electrical power or chemical is required. 100% conversion of human waste into water and gas, that is, carbon dioxide and methane. It is odor-free. Pathogen reduction up to 99%. No sedimentation, hence no evacuation required for lifetime. Manual scavenging are totally eliminated by this process. No need of conventional sewage system. It is affordable and maintenance-free. Water can be used for gardening and gas for heating purpose. 
requires one-time bacteria charging. Organic waste reduction up to 99%. Suitable for any geoclimatic condition. Bacteria can withstand a toilet cleaning agents.